Hello guys, today I want to talk about full page components in Livewire and their layout based on the tweet by Mutaki with a situation of multiple layouts in different components and how to change the layout for multiple components as well at once instead of doing that for individual components. And this thinking of Mutaki of configuration and middleware could be beneficial even outside of Livewire if you want to change something globally in your Laravel project. And this tweet got my attention because of many replies which are really interesting. So that's why I wanted to visualize all of that, starting from the definition how to define and change the layout in the full page components of Livewire. So let's take a look. Here's my demo project with two components, with two pages. So homepage and users list. Based on Laravel Breeze design, nothing really fancy here, but I have a different layout prepared. So two components, two layouts. In this case, by default, they use the default layout and the default layout of all Livewire is expected to be by default layouts app. So resources, views, layouts, app, blade. But you can change that if you have another layout like I do. So in the global config for all the Livewire components, Let's change that and see what happens. We refresh and we have a different kind of different design. It's just the sidebar. So users list and homepage is with different layout for all the Livewire components. Now, how do you change the layout in individual components? There are a few syntax ways in Livewire. So here's the home Livewire component. And in Livewire 2 version, previously it was the syntax of view layout like this. So in the render method, you have return view and you specify the layout. So let's do that in the home page, but let's revert the config. So the layout by default is the Laravel breeze. So users show Laravel breeze, top navigation, but home page has a different layout. And then another syntax, how you define that layout for individual components, which appeared in Livewire 3 is PHP attributes like this on top of render method. So we remove that one and define PHP attribute layout, which requires also to have use attributes layout and then nothing should change. So users breeze, homepage sidebar. And also kind of a side note, you can define layout not only in the render method, but also on top of the component itself in Livewire. So if we move that on top, refresh the page, home page, sidebar, users, breeze, nothing really changed. Cool. And this is where we're getting to the main topic of this video. Imagine you have 20 components and you need to change the layout in 20 components and you have this syntax or in the render method. And then you go to each of those 20 components and change that manually. Well, not necessarily. Let's experiment with some global configuration. For example, in the config live wire, let's define two layouts. So this will be main layout and this will be layout two, for example, like this. And then we can define this as a value from the config. So config, and then the key would be live wire dot layout two. This is by the way, auto completed by Laravel idea PHP storm plugin. So if we save that and refresh, you will get an error and actually PHP storm underlines that because constant expression contains invalid operations. And this is an example of limitations of PHP attribute syntax. So Livewire three kind of advocates this syntax for many settings of the component. But if you need to define some kind of variable or configurable value, it will not work in PHP attributes just because of the syntax limitation. So this way can work only if you have view layout here and here you can pass the config. So let's do exactly that. And then home will work. Users will have breeze. And then if you want to change that layout to for multiple components, imagine you have home about page and more components. You do that in the config live wire by changing one value in the config, you refresh the page and you have a different layout. So this is one way define the repeating value as a config value. So it would be changeable in one place. And this is what I referred to when I told you that this video is not necessarily about live wire. It's a pretty typical situation in Laravel projects where you define some value multiple times in multiple files. Maybe instead it should be in the config for the situation. If you need to change it in the future for multiple places in the code. 
And now here's where we're getting to the way to the suggestion of the author Mutaki himself. A question, what if you need to define the layout dynamically based on some kind of condition? So in here in the config you can just define the static value, the string name, the blade file name. Could that be some kind of a function? And you may define that function as a middleware. So in the routes web of my project I have two route groups. This is an artificial example because each group contains only one URL, but imagine you have 20 components here and 20 here, and you can define middleware, which would dynamically change the config. And this is another thing not live wire specific. For example, if you need to change something on the fly, some kind of config value, you may define a middleware for that. So I have component layout middleware just by doing PHP artisan make middleware. And then in here, before next request, let's do config and you can set whatever value to whatever key. In our case, the key is live wire layout like this and the value would be whatever you want. For example, components, layouts, app. And in here you are free to add if conditions, query the database for which layout to use or some kind of other logic. And now we need to assign that middleware to whatever route you want. So for example, guest and then component layout middleware class like this. And of course it should be in the array. So we assign multiple middlewares. Now in that home blade, let's remove the layout completely. So the component itself doesn't really know what layout it uses. The layout will come from the config, which is dynamic by middleware. And then it's all controlled in the routes here. And now for refresh, the home page uses the component layout. The users list uses the default layout. So now if you want to change the layout for multiple components, you do that here for the route group or in the middleware, again, in one place. So yeah, these are different options to change something globally in the example of Livewire component, but applicable for pretty much any configurable value in Laravel projects. What do you think about this? Which way would you have chosen? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you are not that familiar with the new Livewire 3, including the syntax of PHP attributes, one of my newest courses is Livewire 3 from scratch in 30 lessons and in 20,000 words, which is pretty big. You will get practical experience with Livewire, which actually takes over Laravel community. I see many more tutorials and questions and everything about tall stack compared to Vue.js, for example, at least in my circles on Twitter that I follow. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.